Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can transform a 2D image made with AutoCAD into a 3D object. This 3D object can then be imported into games or it could be 3D printed. So this is the key that we created in the past video, uh, the, the 2D key, and it was quite fun to do. Uh, but now what I would like to do is make this 3D, make it a 3D key. So uh, first we have to change into 3D mode in AutoCAD. Uh, that is done a little bit differently in the newer versions. So in the newer versions, uh, you go to the here to the this quick access toolpad you know, that you see on the bottom right, and you go with this, you see that wheel, or you can also write WS current. That's the command that will uh, do this. And uh, I'm gonna go with it says 3D basics. So you click on 3D basics and you see that the ribbon now is changing into 3D mode. If you want to know how that was done in previous versions of AutoCAD, I also have a video about that. So now I have all my 3D options and tools on the ribbon here for me to use. The first thing I want to do is change the perspective of my view. Right now I'm on a top view, so it's just 2D, but I need to switch it. So you can switch it by using the, the box here and change the perspective, but I'm gonna switch it using the orbit command, okay? So, and you can just type orbit, enter, and a 3D orbit, and it will work. So now with a left click on my mouse, I can just, you know, switch it to a more 3D perspective. Uh, so I have the Z axis shown. All right, the next thing I need to do, and I press escape, is to somehow extrude this or pull it, and it, that will be it. Now, because I had created this using lines, if I ex try to extrude this, so I click on extrude, and I select the object, okay? You see, first of all, I have I had to make a selection, and uh, I press enter, and now I can go up and down, so I'm gonna go up, and you can go up a specific amount uh, or a distance by just typing it, uh, but for now, I'm just gonna do it with the mouse, I click, and that's it. So, I press enter, just in case, and now I have this wireframe view of my extrusion, uh, so you really want to see how it looks. You have to go here where it says layers and views and go with this front 2D wireframe. You want to change that to something like conceptual. So I send, change it to conceptual and you see that, I'm going to orbit it, that that is not my intention. It extruded but only the, the edges. And that is because those, uh, uh, those uh, uh, lines are, were made using the line command and not a polygon. If you were starting over, uh, I recommend you will use uh, the polygon, uh, a closed polygon line uh, to to have better results when you extrude. But for now, since I already used the line command, I'm going to undo this because it's not what I want. So Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, okay? And now I need to use another command called pull or press pull. So I click where it says press pull is here in the edit area of the ribbon on the home tab. Uh, the 3D area. I click on that and now it's asking me what areas I want to pull. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to hover. See, if I cannot make a selection, uh, I, if I go on top of a line, it will only pull that. So I have to actually hover on the middle. And when I do that, all is selected. And now I can, you know, go either up and down, click, and I'm going to change from wireframe back to conceptual. And you see that. Uh, press pull actually did the job perfectly and I'm gonna just uh, orbit so you can see that my key looks really really nice now that I have my 3d key um, and now it has also you know all the uh, dimensions I want uh, let's say I want to modify this a little bit for example I don't want the key to be so angular in these areas here I want to have more uh, of a curve like I have it here well you could let's do that in 3d so we learn a few new commands so I'm gonna zoom here and what I'm gonna do is uh, let me zoom here I'm gonna use this command so I'm gonna go where it says edit in the edit area I'm gonna pull down here and I go where it says um, fillet edge so I click on that and I have to select the edges I want to fill it. So normally if I, uh, it's this one that I want to fill it. So I'm just gonna zoom in, click on that, okay? And see how I get in a preview. And this is a preview with a different radius. Maybe this radius is too big. So what you do is type R enter to access the parameter of that command. The default radius is one and I'm seeing it's too much. So I'm gonna put 0 0.5 enter. And now you see that it's much, it's half the size, so it looks pretty good. When you, you are finished, just press enter again, and that's it. Uh, 
and you enter into this kind of transparent mode so you have to press enter again and now you are really out of that uh, command and it did a great job so let's do again the same thing here although it wouldn't make that much sense to to fill it this since it's a key but uh, actually let's fill it this area here so to fill it this uh, corner i'm gonna use my orbit i'm gonna orbit to that size so we have a better view of it here you go I'm gonna zoom it too and then i'm gonna use the same command i go here edit i go to where it says fillet edge and i'm gonna fillet this edge you see when i go on top of an edge uh, it, it becomes like highlighted in white so that's the, when you know you can click it and uh, there you go you get a preview by the way you can you can go back to the orbit command even uh, uh, while you are in 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 this or in any other command and that is a super useful tool so when you're done press escape and now i'm gonna just leave the radius it remember the previous radius of 0 0.5 so all i have to do is press enter twice and i'm done uh, I'm done and you see now it's very ni it's much nicer now what if I wanted to uh, round these edges too let's just do it for the sake of it and uh, well it would be the same thing edit let's go to fill edge command again and I'm gonna click on this now I notice if I want to do both at the same time I can do that too so I'm gonna just use the orbit again and uh, orbit to this side escape and I'm still in the fill edge command so I can go ahead and press this two at the same time and then enter enter and that's it it's done for both of them so very easy and fast way uh, to manipulate things in 3d and to change something from 2d to 3d